Oh no, death connected. And this good guy's with guns, a bad guy tries to hold up an ideal mark and runs into three good guys with guns. This one happened in L.E.J., Georgia. I think I got that right. L.E.J. Nailed it. The suspect obtained an energy drink then pulled a pair of women's panties from around his neck to cover his face. He went behind the counter, pointed a 45 caliber handgun at the head of the clerk, and demanded all the money. Panties? Bro, with all the Fauci flu masks out there, you choose to use panties? I wonder if this cat's just into huffing ladies' draws. Goodness gracious. You know they weren't new. But anyway, after this guy goes behind the counter and pulls his gun, one of the good guys with guns pulls his and somewhere in the process disarms the bad guy. A second good guy goes out to his vehicle, comes back in with his gun, and helps apprehend the bad guy. In the meantime, a third good guy with a gun's out pumping gas, sees the commotion, comes in, and helps restrain the bad guy and keep him there until the cops get there. So a cat who likes to wear panties on his face goes into an ideal mart in L.E.J., Georgia and tries to kick over the place, only to be stopped by three good guys with guns, with nary a shot fired. So for all of the anti-gun owners rights groups out there saying that more guns in the hands of ordinary citizens will equate to more death and more shootings, this is a shining example of a shooting that might have occurred but was stopped by three good guys with guns and they didn't even have to pull the trigger. Once again proving the best way to stop a bad guy with a gun is a good guy or three with a gun. Until next time, keep your head on a swivel and stay uninfringed. I mean it.